Hi class! Today, we will be learning about the, how to swim the elementary backstroke. The elementary backstroke is an easy stroke to learn and it is useful to help boost swimming confidence. Hence the name, the stroke is swim on the back and it is a great resource to have in the event that you get tired in the water and need a break from treading or swimming other strokes. After this video, you should be able to recognize that this is a relaxing stroke because of the way that you breathe, the way that you move, and the way that it is stress-free. Once you learn how to swim it properly, of course. Let's begin with the initial position for the elementary backstroke. One, push off of the wall backwards and try your hardest to be parallel with the bottom of the pool. Do this while gliding on your back. Two, your head should be in line with your trunk or the central part of your core. Three, your face should not be under the water. You should be staring directly at the ceiling. Four, your arms will rest at the, your sides with your palms turned inward facing your legs. Five, at this point, your legs should be extended and squeezed tightly together. And six, glide for a few seconds and then start your arm and leg movements. Bend your elbows and draw your hands up towards your armpits. Act as if you're tickling yourself. It helps get the proper technique down. Extend your arms out sideways to form the letter T with your body. Sweep your extended arms back inwards and backwards so that way they simultaneously push against the water. Think of the term tickle, T, touch, as if you're tickling the side of your body, then making a T, and then touching your legs. Those are good cues for this stroke. Bend your knees and bring your feet to your butt. Make sure to keep your legs together while bending your knees. This may feel weird at first and that's totally okay. Spread your legs apart while keeping them bent. Make sure to extend your legs back and then squeeze them together once they are fully extended. There are some advantages to the elementary backstroke. First, this stroke is extremely relaxing and fairly easy to learn. Because it is swum on your back, breathing issues are very minimal. On the same note, your arms are constantly under the water so you don't splash any water in your own face. Throughout the entirety of the stroke, your body should also be symmetrical. Now for your breathing. You should inhale during the first active phase of the stroke. This will take place while you sweep your arms and legs up to your armpits and your butt. When you exhale, take it slow. Make sure your exhale is continuous throughout the rest of the stroke cycle. This is very important for safety reasons. It may be hard to tell here when she's breathing, but if you take a close look, you will see. able to see the combination of the first active phase, the second active phase, and the third active phase along with the breathing. I hope that you were able to learn how to properly swim the elementary backstroke. This is a super fun and relaxing stroke along with very safe and I think that if you have the opportunity to swim it, you'll agree.